All right, so now we're going to color our picture, but before we do that, we have to actually set it up so that we can color. Uh, by that, I mean that we're going to have to select parts of our image and separate the colors on the separate layers. Now, I have my image in ink, and you might have a little bit more trouble if you do your pictures in pencil, because ink is a lot darker, and it allows for the magic wand tool to more easily select areas of your picture. So, first things first, we're going to have to actually make a new layer to color on. You're going to, have to do this by either clicking the new layer icon right there at the bottom of your palette, or you can go to layer, new, and layer, or shift control N as the shortcut says. But we'll just go ahead and press the new layer button down here. Now, the way that actually works, it inserts a new layer above the layer that you're currently on. It will always do that. So, we wanted a new layer in between the ink and background layers. So everything that we're going to be coloring is going to be below the ink layer. So the layer one, we're going to double click on the words. Layer one to change it to blue. So that's the color that I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and make another layer that's going to be brown. And uh, they're two different layers and they're transparent. There's nothing on them just yet. And what we're going to do is select the magic wand tool by going over to your toolbox and clicking on it or pressing W on the keyboard. And we're going to actually have to select the ink layer to be able to select anything. Now if we put that lock all icon, as you can see the black padlock right there, and that means you can't draw or erase or do much of anything on this layer, but you can still select. So. I'm going to use the selection tool to select the ears. That's what I'm going to color first. I'm going to use my wand to select the ear. And what you basically do is just put your cursor right inside where you want to select and click. And it selects everything for me. You can see the marching ants dotted line. And I'm going to go ahead and try to click the next ear. Now what happens is it deselects the one that I had and switches over to the new one. I don't want that at all. I actually want both ears at the same time. So how do I do that? Well, you can actually do one of two things. You can hold shift on the keyboard while you click to allow you to add to your selection. Or you can go up to this options right here, and you'll see that it says add to selection. The, the second icon, it should be on the first one that just says new. So that's what that was what was causing the problem. So we click add to selection, and then we click on the other ear, and you'll see that it finally does both of them. And you can actually keep clicking around the entire picture to select other things. But we're not going to do that just yet. So another thing that you can do here is if you actually click an area that you didn't mean to get, like the side of the head here, you can actually click on the third icon that says subtract from selection and then click the part that you didn't want. Alternatively, you can actually hold the alt key on your keyboard while you click to remove anything from the selection. Okay, now that we have our selection, we're going to go ahead and click on the brown layer. And I'm going to click the paint bucket tool, or you can press G on the keyboard. And I'm going to click this black square here, which is the foreground color. And that allows me to choose what color I want. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a brown. Press OK. And click anywhere inside of my layer. And you see that it goes ahead and, and paints. Now you have to, of course, be on your brown layer. If you try to actually paint on the ink layer where you started the selection, it'll give you the no icon and you won't be able to do anything. All right, so now that we're on here, and we're all done with the painting. It painted everything for me, which is nice. So I'll go ahead and go to select and deselect. And right off the bat, I can see something's a little weird. Something's not right. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the zoom tool and zoom in. And we can see right there the problem. The paint is not going into the lines. It's going right up to, you can see some gray there. So you can see that the paint went right up to the black line but stopped there and did not go underneath it because that's where the selection stopped. So we're going to have to fix this. Basically what we'll do is undo what we just did and you can go to the history tab in your palette or you can actually go to window history if it's not visible on your screen. And Photoshop luckily keeps a large list of everything that you do. So you, if you mess up, don't worry about it. Just go to history and go back a few steps right there to where I made the selection. So we go back to the layers tab and what we'll do is go to select, modify, expand. What this allows us to do is expand the selection one pixel away from where it started. 
and this is exactly what we want. So make sure that you enter one pixel and press OK. Now you can see that the selection actually took up this entire line. It's not even selecting it anymore. It's cutting right through it, which is great. And right here, it's about, you know, it's one pixel into the, the thick line here. You can see a before and after. And this is exactly what we want. We're going to go ahead and select the brown layer, the paint bucket tool, and click inside of the ear. And all those gray artifacts are not there anymore. We'll go ahead and go to select and deselect, or press control D on your keyboard. And everything looks just fine, just perfect, the way I want it. Okay, so we got the ears painted. Now we're going to go ahead and try to select the head and paint the head blue. So we'll go and select with add to selection on. Let's select the side of the head, the side of the neck, and we'll select the forehead. Now something unexpected happens. It actually selected the face too. Now the reason behind that is in the way that the wand tool actually works. When you click an area for it to select, it actually selects every pixel of that same color. And since we're actually choosing transparent pixels, it'll seek out every transparent pixel until it runs into the black of our ink. And then it'll just go elsewhere. Now if you look right here, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in this line actually does not reach the nose so from the top of the nose where it should be blue to the white of the face it just keeps going now we don't want this at all because if I click right now go ahead and choose the blue that I'm going to use and go to the blue layer it makes the entire thing blue I don't want that at all I'd have to go back and erase so we're not going to do that there's a few ways that you can fix this one is to choose the lasso tool which you can click is the third icon here or you can press L on the keyboard and you can choose the third option up here which is subtract from selection you can go around and draw where you don't want the selection to go and that will cut it out but it just takes a little bit more work um, what you can do to save yourself a lot of trouble is pre-plan while you're drawing and make sure to close off every line say for instance you have a circle and, and that circle has a break in the line just like this one it will select everything out of it so make sure that every line touches each other and where there's going to be different colors so what you can do is unselect everything and actually go to your ink layer and turn off the lock all and that gets rid of that black padlock which means that you can now draw on this layer again so you're going to have to make sure that you know what you're doing you can temporarily go in and close the lines that you want I stopped at this line right here when I drew it on purpose because I thought it looked good now what I can actually do is just draw a temporary line now that line is there on the ink layer I'm going to go ahead and use my magic wand tool and select the areas that I selected before. Now you see that it actually stops on the nose where it's supposed to and that's just what I wanted. So I can continue going around and adding the, to the blue where I wanted it to and then we'll go ahead and do the exact same select modify expand by one pixel then click on the blue layer select my blue color select the paint bucket and then click and everything's fine. It painted everything just like I wanted it to now if we wanted to go ahead and fix this, we go back to the ink layer and choose the eraser tool or press E on your keyboard and just erase that line that we made and everything looks just fine.